Hey guys, welcome to another games programming lesson. Uh, this is lesson number three and uh, please make sure you have completed lesson numbers one and two before doing this tutorial otherwise you wouldn't know what's going on. So basically uh, what we're going to achieve by the end of this tutorial is you'll have a character which you're controlling using the arrow keys and then when your character touches the blue gem what's going to happen is your score is going to increase by one and the gem is going to go to a random place on the screen so I'm touching the gem score number two, score number three, score number four, five, six so you can see I'm adding the score by touching the blue gem all right, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I want you to see if you can program that before looking at the answer. Okay, so once you have had a go, come back and I will show you the solution. Okay, so this is what you had to do. Well, basically, uh, we needed one new object which is a, a label so you drag a, a label onto the screen a label a tool onto the screen and uh, I'm gonna call this label here uh, the name of that is score label okay now let's go into the coding now if you remember last lesson we uh, made up a function called collision and the code was that when the boy in the gym collides uh, we move the boy to uh, the top left hand corner of the room so we're gonna change that too we're gonna generate a random number uh, between uh, or pretty much to start with you can generate a number between 0 and 480 which is the uh, coordinate for the Y position of the blue gem so you can see that my program is has a, a width of 640 and a height of 480 so if I generate a random number between 0 and 480 for my blue gem when these two objects collide then this is going to move uh, to a random place vertically between 0 and 480 and then the same thing happens with the uh, with the gem dot left the left property which is the x coordinate so the top property is the y coordinate and the left property is the x coordinate so I'm generating a random number uh, to start off with you can generate between 0 and 640 because that's how wide uh, my window is okay so let's have a look at uh, this code here and uh, discuss what that means well firstly we generate a random number uh, between 0 and 1 and then we times the random number by 480 minus 2 times the height of the gem. So why do I minus 2 times the height of the gem? Well, because when we generate a random number, uh, preferably we don't want the gem to go out of the window. So we take off... Um, take off two times the height of the gym and that'll move the gym back up a little bit right because as you can see the further I move the gym down the bigger the Y value is so if I move it back up it's smaller so I'm gonna minus two times the height of the gym so that way uh, it doesn't go beyond beyond my window and then what I'm gonna do is uh, plus the height of the gym at the end so it doesn't generate a number of zero which is 
which is too far up. Okay, uh, so repeat the same code for the y value for the sorry for the x value uh, which is the uh, x corner of the of the gym and then I'm also going to use the debug dot right line function and what that does is it outputs the corner of the gym every time I touch it down the bottom here in the immediate window so when I touch the blue gem look what happens down the bottom it tells me the top corner of the gem is 330 and the left corner of the gem is 339 the X the Y and the X corner and as you can see the bottom left hand corner it keeps outputting the corner of the gem for me so I know what the random number generator is doing which is also quite a useful feature and you can see that when the top uh, property is 436 the gem is already very close to the boundary of the window okay so what I'm gonna do now is uh, add the number 1 to the score why do I do that because um, I have a score variable which I have created at the top here and it's an integer variable with which equals zero and I'm gonna add one to the score every time the boy collides with the gem and it's also going to make <clears throat> the label which I've created here the score label is gonna show score uh, colon and then uh, the value of the score variable and it's gonna sc store that into the label into the text property of the label so it's gonna display that on the screen so see if you can get this to happen once that's done then uh, come back to the next lesson Thanks for watching, see you next time.